Okay. Um, I see we have all of one viewer. I am going to go ahead and post this link out on social media one last time and uh, you know see who's all going to be in for it. We're going to just kind of chat or whatever and take any questions or uh, that sort of stuff uh, for the first like 15 minutes and then you know whoever wants to come along for the ride um, can, can see what's going on. We're going to have Sean I think jump in at some point with another camera angle uh, and then we'll probably reset the camera that we have here which is a little bit better quality um, to the, the space where we're actually doing the implants and then we'll, we'll actually do the do the actual implant. So um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and post this So, uh, Lily, why don't you um, explain, uh, you know, just again, what the what, what the what the what what you're doing and what the uh, implant itself actually does? Okay. Um, basically, we're going to implant the new RFID that came out called the XNC, and it is NFC compatible, so you can read and write. I think up to 888 bytes onto it. So you know, put your business card on there, whatever. Pretty cool. So I implanted one in a fellow grinder um, about a week ago, so now we're going to try another one. There's a bunch of YouTube videos, you can go and check them out. It shows about how to do it and everything. Um, I think Abel's got some stuff up on his website at dangerousthings.com. And uh, yeah, so it just goes right in the hand, like right in between the index and thumb, right there. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm gonna post this real quick. Let anybody else. That's it. Perhaps, perhaps I shouldn't be doing this on on Linux Mint. And let's see. Do you actually post that to uh, what? Say what? Motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Seriously, Linux. I'm very disappointed. All right, we got seven viewers, so we can probably. Uh, is anybody? I think there's a Q and A app um, on the side. If anybody has any questions. On uh, Sean's machine or your machine? Probably not the best choice. I don't know. Can uh, can anybody get up the uh, questions app and see if uh, we can if we're if we're coming through clear? Because it looks like we're having some as as usual with any video conferencing, we're having technical difficulties. It happens like every time we do anything on Google Plus. Uh, okay, sweet. We're finally okay. We're getting questions. People are here. Perfect. Okay. So, um, 
Yeah, so this is a this is from Emil. Uh, this is the question is from uh, Nathan Evans, and um, the implant is an NFC compatible um, RFID tag. Um, so it's RFID and NFC compliant. And you can write uh, as Libby, Libby did cover this a little bit earlier, but you can write uh, up to 800 bytes on it, uh, and that can be all sorts of stuff uh, such as. Uh, uh, web address or a, um, uh, a business card, via uh, VCF card, that sort of thing. Um, basically, anything like that that you want to use. Uh, and what will happen is when your when your phone actually reads the NFC, if it's a certain type of URI, um, it'll have it'll know what to do with that. So if it's a web address, it'll know directly to this web address. And in some cases, I believe it's a YouTube address. It'll actually open your YouTube uh, application. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's basically what it does. Um, and you can read or write to it. Uh, so we're going to be playing around with that and having a lot of fun. Um, so let's see here. Uh, what is the and uh, Michael Cunningham wants to know. Uh, so what is the max distance that the chip can be read? It's extremely short range. Uh, NFC is extremely short range to the point where you have to be basically right on top of the tag uh, in order for it to be read. Because you're actually using your phone to power the chip itself uh, through um, uh, in, yeah, induction. induction. So, so um, yeah, basically uh, you, you have to be right on top of it. Now, um, I have a Nexus 5. And according to the Nexus 5, um, people right there uh, where the X is, um, that's supposed to be where the NFC reader is. So that should make it a little easier on my phone, hopefully, uh, to find to find the, the tag once it's implanted. And I've heard because of some amount of swelling, sometimes it's kind of a little difficult at first yeah, to get a hold of the tag um, and that sort of thing. So. But yeah, very good question. What's the max distance? Uh, to anybody who's joining in now, um, you're welcome to ask any questions. Um, yes, yeah, Aaron. It's um, yeah. I mean, you you would actually have to read it in order to, but it's read write. I mean, I can write uh, I can write to it. So uh, yeah, but it's you know, pat. I guess passive. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So Aaron Brown was saying, is it is it like a is it like a passive RFID? I don't know if you guys can see the questions either. I don't know if you can tell. This is my first time doing a live broadcast, so it seems like I'm an idiot. This because I am. Um. Okay. So other questions, or are we just all in for the blood and gore? Oh, is there a way to write protect it? Um, you know what, Aaron? I, you know what? I don't know. I, you know what? I have not checked into that. I'm gonna have to ask Emil. Um, the guy who made this is named Emil Broster, by the way, and um, his website is dangerousthings.com, and uh, he sells all kinds of weird grinder supplies and stuff to, you know, implant yourself or. Play yourself with an RFID, play yourself with one of his new XNT chips that I'm implanting today. Um, yeah, he came up here and he did my my first RFID. Actually, all of us got like old school RFIDs, but those have been not very useful because we we took the first reader that we got and ended up giving it to like the hacker space in Berlin like two weeks after we got it. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely one. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, doing it old school. Um, okay, so any other questions that I can answer before we get? Do I have security worries? Um, uh, Mike Michael Cunningham wants to know if there are security concerns. Um, I'm not really concerned about it at this point. The worst they can do is come in and, and like then you know again it's extremely close you know field. So they really have to be up on me to mess with me 
And then even if they do, all they really do is just like write 800 bytes to this little capsule in my arm, which I guess could be kind of annoying, but I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. I mean, if I see somebody like coming up to me with my hand with their phone and we're like, hey, Dick, what are you doing? You know, so uh, no, not not so worried about uh, security or anything like that. Um, so, um, but yeah, so actually I'm gonna plus some. Uh, what's in order of who's plus them, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, floats, floats, the, floats the good ones to the top. Uh, okay. Um, um, well, I did, um, I did my circadia implants in October. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I'm not good at this. Uh, enigmatic mind wants to know, not counting this one, how many implants or similar technologies uh, have you used to go beyond what your um, body and mind naturally offers? Um, in terms of implants, I have a magnet implant in my finger. I have an RFID. I'm getting this NXT, and um, I uh, did the circadia implant, which was uh, Bluetooth-enabled temperature sensor. Um, that just read my temperature and had had some lights and um, you know that sort of thing you could turn it on and off uh, with Bluetooth or what have you. Um, uh, yeah. So and then I I think I know Sean is Sean has a magnet. Olivia has a magnet. And, um, they both have RFIDs. And I believe Sean, you're getting a North Star. Right. North Star is the new one we're going to have coming out. Um, in hopefully January, but you know, I don't want to rush this thing. Um, and then I think Sean and Mike and possibly me and a couple other people are going to get them early, probably in September or October. And then uh, we're going to release it to the market in, in January. So, yeah, thank you, Enigmatic Mind. Good question. Um, let's see here. Do we have other questions that I haven't got to? Are you looking to collaborate? So Ben Shapiro wants to know, are you looking uh, at collaborating on or at least commenting on other Grindr projects? Um, yeah, I mean, we don't really, I mean, if it doesn't come into our channels or news feeds, then we, we don't necessarily, we're not necessarily aware of it. Actually, we just recently became aware of like two other Grindr groups. I mean, obviously, I have a lot to say about Rich Lee. Um, he does some really interesting projects. Um, you know, uh, Emil, uh, I love love the projects that he's doing. Um, obviously, I love the technology. This is the second time I'm getting implanted from something that I got from him. Um, I know that there's another group that just came out from Biohack Me that are trying to do um, a you know North Paw South Paw kind of thing. Um, also, so the guys in Toronto uh, at Hack Lab, even though they're not exactly biohacking, um, you know, the, the guy who invented North Paw is out of the hacker space in Toronto, and he, he rocks. I went up there uh, recently and had a chance to talk to him and try out the North Paw, and it was really amazing. It was really, really intuitive, so that was really cool. Um, uh, I'm looking at, looking at Node.js. Okay, no, no. Um, all right. Okay, Brittany Shepard. No questions here, just wanted to say <laughs> hi and uh, take a look at the new plant. Uh, new plant. We're, we'll get in touch with this week. Yes, please do, Brittany. We were just asking about that. We were like, when, when the hell are we going to talk about her again? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and apparently we're getting some echo, and Sean, you're, you're in and out uh, of things or whatever. That's, that's okay. I spoke well. Not okay, but it's as okay as it's going to get. Um, all right, let's see here. Any other questions? Are you going to collaborate? Uh, yeah, we hey, Ian, what's up, man? Not much. Just uh, taking a break between pretending to study for finals. Oh, maybe maybe I should maybe I should have my volume up. That might help. Ian. Yeah. Oh, there. Hey, what's up? Come, come to watch the violence inherent in the system. 
I guess. The violent inheritance system. Help, help, I'm being repressed. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to um, shut down. Okay, that's true. Uh oh. Uh oh, the feed's popping in and out? That's not good. All right, well, we'll uh, we'll get ourselves set up here. Um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll shut my camera down for a moment, and we'll get ourselves set up uh, at the at the table, and we'll 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 get this shit going, and hopefully it'll um, it'll be good. But if not, what I'll do is I'll have Sean use my camera on my phone to film it from another angle, and um, if if it ends up cutting out or anything like that, we'll post this immediately after. So hopefully that'll be good. I uh, will be right back with you, Ian. Why don't you um, why don't you sing him a song or do a puppet show or something? Keep everybody busy. <laughs> Slide your. Yeah. How's that look? That looks good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that help with light? Yes. Okay, good. Might actually be better if we move it this way. Okay. How's that? Oh, that's way better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All ready? Mm-hmm. All right. So... It comes with this bag, and there's a chloro prep to clean up. Plus, this is the injector with the RFID. When there's band aids hiding in there somewhere, we're gonna put the gloves on first. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, the money shot. Okay, bro. Where I'm like, where I'm like, we sing like a little, little child for, for the entire internet. I just want to make sure that that's captured on on YouTube. Yeah, I don't think you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, you can so uh, if anybody else wants to do an RFID implant at home, um, you can go on YouTube and there's plenty of people that will show you how to do it with little instructionals. And that's all we did was to watch uh, a few of those and that's good to go. Maybe the interactions first. Maybe a different one last time. Hey, this isn't going to hurt, is it? <laughs> okay. Just a little pinch. Yeah. Okay, so it's <laughs> just the tip of that. Uh, so, um, by the way, anybody who's asking questions, we're not really in a position where we can answer them, but as soon as everything's done, uh, we'll get back to the question and answer portion and we'll, we'll, we'll finish that out. I should have looked into this earlier. I don't think I'm trying to get this off. You want to help? Yeah, somebody could. Get this out? I think so. Maybe not. I don't know how you put it on there. This is supposed to seep through here? It's not seeping, so if you can make it seep. Yeah, actually, it's supposed to seep through. Well, there we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah, just go wild with this. Yeah. Nothing bad can happen yeah. from too much. Yeah. Oh, no, too much stairs and more poking holes in it. I'm going to do it on my gloves, too, just to ensure. I just cleaned. Shit at all ever. I hope this hurts a fuck time. <laughs> it will. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's actually not too bad. I mean. We've all had it. We've all had this a similar procedure to this one before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now that you're clean, we're just gonna mark you, and we're gonna follow your index and thumb, and just mark where the want the where the bones are. That we know where is safe. Okay. 
Can you uh, bulge your veins for me? Like how? Like this. Yeah, like this. Like with your hand, your thumb out. Like that. There you go. I'm just making sure I miss your vein. Yeah, I'd like to know that. If you can see. Yeah, I'm picking. Okay. Uh, it's probably supposed to be a little bit more curved, but whatever. Okay. So now, just kind of pick up the hand until you kind of get like a little vagina. <laughs> a little hand giant. Yeah. So, turn it like that a little more. Just like pull around until you find like a good grab. That's a good one. I should have it. Okay. So then like right in the like slit area. You're gonna want to poke right in there and kind of just like, yeah. And then like right in there, and then you're just gonna put it in, and then just like situate it nicely, and then inject it and pull out the needle. Actually, pretty simple. Amal did a wonderful job. It should be. This is it. Can you guys see it? And then needle parts up here with a cap on it, so I'll take that down as soon as I'm ready. And then actually I'm gonna clean it up just one more time. Looks like there's a little bit left. Just to be sure. That's the needle. Okay, so I'm going to just grab this spot again. Okay. Want me to tell you when I go in? Or? Just tell me to take a deep breath. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. It happens. You okay? Yep. Just get it in there. Mm. One. I'm gonna put it in. Good. I'm gonna hate you so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> she forgot to take a safety strip off. There we go. We're done. We're done. Okay. Okay. Leave that there for a little bit. All right. You okay, buddy? Yep. Okay. 
split. Oh, she had two men. <laughs> there was balls in the skin. Holy shit, they turned up the heat. <laughs> Your body did. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There you go, buddy. Okay. Let me just log it back in, because my goddamn... Is it good? It's in place? It I mean, it doesn't even feel... It was a pain in the ass. Hold on, let me get this back online. Hey, guys. I don't know if everybody stuck around to the end, to the bitter end, uh, but I'm going to... Take a look at everything again here. All right, we got 12 viewers. Um, I mean, you know, it was it was intense. You know, um, I mean, it, it hurt, but not compared to like, I mean, it, it hurt about as much as maybe a nurse missing five or six times when she's trying to find your veins, you know what I mean? It's, it's like sore. Yeah, it's just like awkward and it's like, oh, this is painful probably because it's a giant piece of metal going into my fucking hand. So, anyway, thank you, Zoe, nice to see you. Zoe, Zoe told me that I did a nice job. Looks like uh, everybody's video feeds were fixed a bit, that's good. So, yeah. Try to you. yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. If we want to try to read the NFC tag now, sure. I don't care. Um. I'm, I'm hip. I'm. I'm with what the kids are doing these days. All right. I gotta take my case off. Okay. Yeah. You really don't bleed much. It's really yeah, normally I'm a bleeder. I really am. I'm normally you bleed that much. Bleed like a motherfucker. There you bleed go. That much for circadia, though. Holy shit! Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Like nothing. It's a little dot. I'm really good at this. It's beautiful. Yeah, Olivia, I think you're my new piercer. Watch. It never went in. <laughs> she just poked a hole in me. It's still sitting in the goddamn auto injector and shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So. Yeah, Sean, it's not in there. Sean's joking. No, no, she did it. I don't want to get too close to your open to my Yeah. Okay, let's. I feel better if you like this. Oh. Now that's all safely taken okay. care of. Hmm. I don't know, you might just be too swollen. It took Mike a couple hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're just too swollen for now. You must be a spoiler. Yeah, all right, well, I will, uh, I apologize. I can't show everybody uh, the actual uh, link. I'm, I'm going to give one more try on my phone. Um, let's see here. So, NFC retag. Uh, all right. So, Aha! Uh -huh. Here's my tag. So, okay. Uh, add tag, new tag detected. Set, set a tag name. Me. <laughs> Tim, a hot spot cat. <laughs> All right, so last cycle, number of cycles. So, now all I have to do is uh, I gotta write shit to this guy, and uh, I'll be I'll be on showing. Um, you take a couple hours to read to Zoe. Okay, so Zoe Zoe Quinn, who's on uh, watching with us, she's uh, actually already had hers for 
a decent amount of time, a week or two. She's like a pioneer. <laughs> yeah, she's one of the first people who, who got it so and uh, posted about it. So, uh, yeah, she had said that it took her a couple hours. But it looks like I just got mine, so that's pretty sweet. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to do some stuff with this. I'm actually writing an application um, in Node.js to kind of uh, do a little bit more with the tags and, and that sort of thing. So I think we'll have a lot of fun with that. Um, anyway, I hope everybody had as much fun watching it as we, we did doing it. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we come down in here and give a bow, guys? Everybody say goodbye. Um, all right, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Oh, yes. And, uh, you know, keep grinding. <laughs>